Hi guys, it's me, Boog. And Dad. And today we're gonna be reviewing the um, the Star Wars Black Series, The Mandalorian R two D two. Yeah, so they've done a, a few R two D twos in the Black Series, but this one is fresh off the press. He's one of the newest ones they have done. Well, actually, and, uh, it released uh, late last year. Yeah, late last late last twenty twenty three, and like I said, he is based on R two from the Mandalorian uh, series. So, um, you know, I mean, there's only so many ways to, you can really do R2. It's kind of been the same for, what, 40 years well, actually, now? Well, actually, no, because they actually upgraded this one. Okay, this well, I mean, as far as the outside is concerned. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks the same. I mean, they have dirty versions, like Dagobah version and, and clean versions. Uh, this one is a clean version. He's well, a clean R2. Well, actually, it's also from the outside because he actually is bigger than the uh, old R2s as well. Oh, is he? Yeah. Okay, so he's he's a little larger? Yeah, they scaled him up and uh, they did some other things, which we'll get to later. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't realize that because somehow or another, and you guys know if you follow the channel, all the years that we've been collecting Black Series and uh, uh, Vintage Collection, Black Series in particular, um, for some reason we've never purchased an R2. I don't even know why. Oh, no, Probably because we have a million in VC, just didn't feel like, I don't know, something needed to grab. No, no, I'm pretty sure what it was is that we just never saw one. Pretty much. Maybe that was it. Yeah, so at Christmas time, boot put on the list, this come out, we grabbed it. So yeah, we've got it, and it's, it's a great R2. Uh, I have yes. to say it's really good. Uh, unfortunately, we don't learn how the box, so I'm just going to show you on a little Amazon photo there what the box looks like. That's him in the packaging. Uh, we've had him out for a little while now, and the box got misplaced, probably thrown out. Yeah. Uh, but there's just some shots of the box. Looks really cool. And, of course, him. I just need to show you that. Yeah, you I see him there. We're going to show you that. Yeah. But he's got a lot of awesome built-in features and built-in storage with him. So yes. uh, they definitely made some good upgrades with it. So I'm going to let Boog uh, get on into all of that. And we kind of have 3P out here. Of course, he doesn't come with 3PO. Uh, this is actually the one that came with uh, Chewy. Yeah, the, and, there was the uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, 3PO and uh, Chewy uh, two pack. Yeah, based on the scene where he gets destroyed uh, on Cloud City. But anyway, go ahead, Vic. But here he is. Close look. Amazing. And yes, it's based off the Mandalorian, but pretty much R2 did really change much in between it. In between. Right. Uh, well, they really never changed it all much, all, at all much, really. So, this dirty. is new, right? Yeah, so this is new for the uh, um, new uh, sculpt, I guess, um, with uh, storage compartments. Right, for all his various accessories. Now, can we get those out and actually put them on them and see how they how they go and where they're supposed to go? Uh, like, yes. I see his antenna, uh, or his, I don't think it's really his antenna. So antenna, antenna slash camera, the one where he kind of Beeps up and looks around. It will have, it will have Dad uh, show them off. All right, excuse me, three PO. So this is gonna. I think this is gonna be the one where he does uh, the electrocutioners on people. Now, unfortunately, we don't get any type of, like you know blue electricity like you do with some figures, but I think that is the one he uses for that. Of course, this is his uh, grabber. Uh, this is his radar dish. You've seen him use this a million times to pick up on the holograms from folks when they're way out on some planet out in the what the outer the outer rim yeah. type thing. And then, of course, this is his camera or his eye. So, like I said, when he needs to elevate that up and get a look around, uh, he can use this. And that acts as part of his dome. Um, and then here we have. This is this is really cool. R2 he, has his gun. I've seen it, but he has an R2 blaster. Yes. He can uh, eject that out and really kick some cheeks if he needs to. <laughs> wipe out some stormtroopers. Do that a few times. Mostly with electricity, but uh, he does have a blaster. I don't know if I've ever seen that used. But that's cool. That might be his actual He might have had it in the Mandalorian one. I can't really remember. Maybe. Uh, yeah, just kind of together. Just comes out of nowhere, just takes out a bunch of and stormtroopers. this one's probably the one we've seen him use the most. And, of course, this is how he accesses all of the security data uh, in the different buildings that he goes into. Yes. So this is really awesome. All right, so I love all the tools they gave him. So now let's kind of see how they go on and what it looks like. First, we have uh, so, so something else to look at first. Oh, okay. So There's the, more. So the so these little blue flaps um, at the front, they do um, they do pop out. Let's see if I can get the top one out. Might need your, do we need the uh... pliers? We'll be right back. All right, we're back. So you can kind of you can kind of um, open those up, and there's some details in there. And uh, very cool. I can't remember exactly. Uh, so those are kind of grabber arms. 
No, not really. They're kind of like I don't really know. Okay. Is but, that where you attach the tools or not? No, you don't attach the tools here. Okay. So, um, yeah. Therefore, I, I guess it's like the show that like maybe like he like broke down or something. Okay. But I'm pretty sure that's what happened to like one of the droids that broke down. Oh, like, all right. Like he like blew blew a circuit or something. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure that's what that's supposed to be. Oh yeah, when he kind of when he like when he gets hit with the blaster, it's like. Psh! Yeah. Mm. Right. Understand. All right. So they actually um. We have this little speck that's on his head. So like a removable cap. Yeah. Let's take that out. Almost like a little toupee. Yeah. And then you just plug in. Very similar to dad's. Yeah, you plug in the camera piece. What? This is all real? Uh, I almost thought you did wouldn't, wouldn't catch it for a second. Anyway, uh, here's, here's the um, radar. The radar. All right. And then let's try the one with the camera. I think that's the one we normally see. And it actually has the piece in the back to to show that, you know, that actually retracts back down normally, just not on this action figure. But I've got plenty of VCs that do that. Yeah. The famous one is when, when they're in the trash compactor. Remember when he's down below? <gasps> no, he's on Dagobah. Remember he falls in the swamp? And then yeah. he's like, boop, 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 looking around. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, R2, you're okay. Yeah. And then, um, so that's pretty much the two that goes on the top of his head. Absolutely. Can we leave them so we can just kind of have everything at once? Uh, no, you can't. You can't have both of these on at the same time. Oh, no, just leave one, and then we can have that. Plus, it's you know, it's other stuff. I think that'd be a cool. Look, okay. Hey, just don't lose this two pack. <laughs> yes, we'll put we'll put uh, the same thing on. I think it's supposed to go like this. <laughs> it's you. Oh, bless you. It's you. Oh, Boops had a little allergy attack this morning. Uh, yeah. So we have these little plan uh, panels over here. Oh, the panels on the side. More panels. Okay, this guy's got a lot of panels. Yeah, another panel on the other side. So we're popping those open, I guess. Yes. Okay. And this is where we're gonna be able to attach the rest of the stuff. I mostly have uh, difficulties with the other side. Gotcha. You can see this one's turned. So there's again. open up. Very cool. And then um, you grab your accessories. And there's a, uh, and then you just stuff them in, there's like a little hole in there. Oh yeah, there's the blaster. Okay, it's a little hole. You just push them in. All right, that is awesome. Okay. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay, so now he's got the uh, the connector, I guess probe you would call it. Yeah. The electrocutioner? Yes. Yeah, both the weapons are the same side. I love it. Oh, there's four? Yeah. I hope there was four. Now they go, don't go as, in as easy on the other side, I've noticed. Okay. We'll pause for... Alright, we've extracted the missing piece. Yes. Um, and there they are. Oh, wow. How awesome. So pretty much everything will go in except for uh, the extra piece that goes on the top because you can only use Wait, one or the other. So no radar. You might be able to fit it in. Let's see. You can do a little radar detection from below. No. No. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so put him on the stand here. Let's let him go around so we can get it from a few angles. Let's see if he fixes his feet a little bit. No. No, that one doesn't like stand, does it? No. Yep. So cool. Now I will say the uh, I think this is kind of like maybe, maybe the ultimate R two. We don't have any of the older ones to compare it to, but I don't think they had all of this. Yeah, no, they uh, did. Plus storage. So this is really cool. So you kind of get to see most of all his accessories that he has, um, and you have an awesome place to store it on the inside. So that's very very cool. Love that. The details are all really good. I think everything's kind of there. Multiple yeah. dream one day is to is to three D print the life size R two. That would be so awesome. Yeah. We've got tons of plans out there for it. And now let's yeah. uh, I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you how you put uh, put them all back in storage. Okay. So let's see. We need his 
Little toupee. Yep, get that back on there. Then you uh, you do have to twist the head to uh, pop pop it right up right up. Right. You don't, you don't want to just yank on it. You want to turn it, then it'll come back up. And it's pretty much the same for pushing it back down too. Gotcha. A little twist and down or up. Yeah. And that kind of just exposes the little snap in areas where it all pops in, right? Yes. Also, I would recommend that you want them like um, the flat parts facing um, facing the gray part, so uh, they won't get in the way of you of pushing it back down. Oh yeah, you don't want to get in the way of closing for sure. R2, where have you been, my dear friend? It has been ages. I do a really bad 3PO, sorry. <laughs> I can't quite get that get that voice down. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one that's not that's not on Dad's impression list. <laughs> yeah, I need to practice it more. R2. What have they done to you? You look terrible. <laughs> oh dear. You're almost as bad a shape as I was in. Yeah, he still is. Maybe he still is. This guy's a lot of fun too. I don't know if he's on the channel, but um, no, he's not. Yeah, it's too bad. We probably should do that. I don't have the package anymore because this is a really old Black Series figure. But yeah, he comes with the scene uh, where chewing. Uh, him and Chewie are there is everything in there. All right, give it a little turn around so I can see all the parts, how they fit in there nicely. And then you just twist and slide it back down, right? And it holds everything yep. nice and safely put away. Now, uh, the question I have is what you just showed. How does that third leg work? Uh, pretty much you pop it in if you don't want it there. Then there's little grooves on the side. You can pull it back out. This so is almost like a mini transformer. He does a lot of stuff. So, um, he's really great. I think me and Boo were able, I, I think he was one of those pre pre-orders. I think we got him for the normal price. I don't even know what the normal price for Black Series is anymore. I, I was 25, maybe even higher now, uh, considering it's Hasbro. But I tell you right now, if you haven't got one of these on Amazon, he's currently going for, um, uh, I saw it a minute ago. Some ridiculous price. $44. My God! Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, for this. But yeah, there you go. So that's just kind of where we're at. Got the leg back out. Yeah. I'm imagining he must have been pretty popular, uh, especially if the other ones they did didn't have these kind of features. So, uh, and after seeing him, he is really cool. $44 is cool? No. But he is a good pick, a good pickup. And if you get him for a decent price, like around the 25 mark, yeah, I think, I think for, it'd be worth it. I think for me, he's already one of the top Black Series of the year. Yeah, already. Absolutely. I agree. Uh, the only other thing I would say, and of course, they haven't done this with any Black Series, so they're not going to start now. But um, and there I'll put them both in the stand. Yes, we can get them together. But uh, and finally, they are reunited. 3PO and R2 together at last. But with R2, uh, like I said, especially as much as they charge for them, I feel like it would have been very easy for them to put in maybe just one little LED light and a sound, you know, a little sound chip. You yeah. know, just to give him a couple of his authentic doinks and deeks and dunks. Um, would have been so... And, and, the, and the classic three, uh, R2 scream. Yeah, yeah, that, that would have been amazing with this figure. Absolutely awesome. It would have been a total five on my list, and I think that's a missed opportunity. And, of course, I know Hasbro don't like to do those things, but I've got plenty of them in the three and three-quarter scale uh, that do that. And it's, so it's it can be done. And, yeah, well, I've got at least two down there. They're not VCs, but you press the button, and the, light, and the, the little light comes on, and they go... Uh, beep, 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 beep. No, no, I think it's only one. Uh, okay, maybe it's just one. But the, but the point is, they they've done that many many years ago. It's not that hard to do. Yeah, especially but, a figure especially, this large. Yeah, you know. But also, I don't know if it, if they could be like fit that fit that in with. Uh, well, I guess I guess they could have put it in the head in the dome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, it would have been very easy, I think. Especially nowadays. I mean, th those figures are over ten years old that I have downstairs. You could have done something really small with a chip and you know whatever you had to have. Yeah, just need a little sound, a little sound box, and. Uh, the, the little LED light. It didn't have to be all of them. Just one would have been fine. But anyway, uh, that's that's my little rant on that. But other than that, I love the figure, and I'm going to give it a four stars. Uh, if it had the sound, I'd do five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, I think I'm going to go with... Uh, hmm. I 
for me, I think, I think, I think, uh, let's see. I'm thinking, so let's see. So it goes, okay. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm I think, uh, it not happy light sound phase is also gonna affect my rating, but not as much as dad. I'm gonna go with 4.5 stars. 4.5 stars for boot. Awesome. Yes. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the, uh, Mandalorian. R2-D2 Black Series figure, and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, like, subscribe, everyone, and also leave in the comments down below if you want to see uh, a review on the 3PO. With Chewie. Yes. And Satchel. Yes. See you, everybody. Why is Satchel so important? It's part of it. You had to carry all the pieces <laughs> and something. No, oh, that Satchel. I thought yeah. you were like, talking about like, Chewie's like, classic Satchel. He always has to have. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, we have to do the big net back for this. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we have that anymore. Anyway, like, subscribe, everyone. <laughs>